welcome to Neophyte.tv, the technology show for the not-so-geeky. I'm Heather Driscoll. And I'm Ben Friedman. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And today on the uh, show, you know, uh, a little bit of a departure for okay. us. Um, we, uh, we got sent a little care package from an outdoor company mm. uh, that does like outdoorsy stuff like camping. Ooh. And now All I right. know you are not a fan of the camping. You know, I've done it. <laughs> I haven't done it again. Yes. But by, I have done it the once. By the way, uh, a 42-foot uh, a RV with slide-outs and full hookups is not camping. That wasn't even... Hey, I'd do that. Oh, you do that? I would do that. But that's not That's, that's not really just camping. motelling. Yes, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> that's no problem. So uh, let's get to our uh, first product here. Okay. Now, of course, when you camp, when you actually camp and you're backpacking out in the wilderness, uh, two of the most important things are things that need to be compact yep. and light. Absolutely. Right. Because every pound counts if you're out ounce. trekking. Heck, yeah. Sure. Uh, so our first product here from a, uh, a company called Sea to Summit. In fact, most of these are from Sea to Summit. And these sea are very small, portable uh, bowls and cups. So this is made of uh, silicon. And yep. basically you go like this. And boom, you've got a cup. <laughs> Isn't that the coolest thing? It's pretty cool. And here is a bowl. All Look. right. A bowl that that's light and 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 silicon, very easy to clean. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, you can very light. I mean, this your, weighs uh, practically nothing. Yes, very and light. And this would hold a big drink. So if it were me and I'm out there, that's like twelve ounces. You know, I'd How have much to vodka have. Could you I was get gonna in? say there'd have to be some um, grapefruit juice and vodka in here. Yeah, and but this look, would be a nice. And then I might like camping. Look, I might go again. Double as a frisbee. Look. Hey, there you go. After a few of these, yeah, I, I mean, you know what? After a few of these, you won't be able to put it back down. Lord it knows. does take some intelligence to to squeeze yeah, it, what's close going it back on with up. This? There. That's just the way it is. It's okay, just, got it. There it is. Got Beautiful. It. Yeah, take a look at the bowl. Nice and flat. Yeah. See, think? I don't know what I'd put in the bowl here. I don't know what you make when you're out camping. Soup. Wheat. Are you grinding up some? No, you're having some soup. <laughs> You've brought out some soup with you and wheat. Making what's a nice a nice chipino after a day out on the lake. <laughs> okay, so uh, these are these are great. These are about twelve bucks, uh, fifteen bucks. So they're not the cheapest things in the world. No, but I mean, I don't think that um, this I mean, is pretty indestructible. Nicely. Yeah, I mean, take this. You could stick this, put that in, inside like that, and boom, you've got in a very flat, thin mm -hmm. arrangement. You're portable. Uh, you're portable. Ready now, uh, of course, once you have a bowl, the most uh, the common thing that you would put with the bowl are utensils like knife. Oh, do they have those when you're they when do, you're out in the wilderness? You not, don't have to make them out of. You're not ripping the meat off the bone <laughs> with your bare hands. Isn't that part of the experience, though? Well, maybe. Well, let's see these. This I'm know. actually interested in. Yeah. So these are uh, again also by Sea to Summit, and these okay. are uh, these are called the Alpha Light. Here, I've got a knife. Ah. What knife, are you trying to do? I'm just dropping them. Knife, a fork, and a spoon right there. Okay. And uh, these are made out of aircraft aluminum. Now, tell me how wow. light that is. This is, it couldn't be any lighter. It's, this it's is lighter amazingly than light. And yet, you know, have you tried bending that? I, mean, I did. It, it does I not, did. It will not bend. You it's could not... cut up some elk with this. I mean, some pretty, some <laughs> you jerky. You could take out a caribou with this knife. <laughs> let me tell you. I mean, look at this knife. I believe knife. it. No, I mean, this yeah. is for some sturdy cutting. You're having yourself a nice camp and meal. <laughs> You know, the word camping has a G on the end, right? You Not know for that. me, it doesn't. It's just camping. <laughs> camping. And you can, I mean, with this, you can have yourself a sturdy, sturdy, stick to your ribs camping you mean, I mean, meal. I mean, you know, you don't want to use like plastic utensils where when you, you, you when you go into that rabbit you just killed, uh, you're going to go broing and it's going to bend. No. But you this, know? I mean, these and are very, very light. Very light. So these That's come a, with a key ring so you can keep they them do together. A little, and it's not a key ring. It's a carabiner. Oh, I'm sorry. You got to get that right. Okay. Key ring. <laughs> Sorry about that. Shoot. Inexperienced camper here. Indeed, a key ring. It's a carabiner. Okay. Uh, and uh, this is 15 bucks for this set of three. Okay. And again, this with the bowls, I mean, super light. I mean, it's... Really light. This is not going to take up space in your pack. No. It's light. It serves it's, its purpose. Look at you talking like you know what the heck you're saying. Oh, you know, I'm always Spacing trekking around. Pack, yeah. I hiked here today. Yeah. There you go. You That's know, right. Had I'll... myself a little drink. <laughs> so... so uh, <laughs> That's the uh, Cedar Summit's uh, X mug and X bowl cool. and the Alpha Light three piece fork. We've got more outdoorsy stuff coming up after Yay. this. So please <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs>
we're back and continuing on with the outdoorsy theme here. All right. Now, this is my favorite of the products here. Uh, yeah. Because I got to tell you, I don't do a lot of outdoor stuff, but I do travel a lot. You travel a lot. Now, traveling, I don't need to bring a bowl or a knife and fork with me because, you know, wherever I go, if I stay... You, you, you can find those. I can find those things. Yeah, I usually eat at restaurants or mm. if I'm in a kitchenette hotel, they usually have that kind of stuff. Right. But I love these, okay? I have a hard time finding the products that I like in small containers. In the travel size. In the travel size. Yeah. So these are from a company called Human Gear, and they're called GoTubes. T-O-O-B. GoTubes. Yep. And, uh, you know, they're coming in a couple of different sizes. Mm hmm all TSA compliant. Perfect. And basically what they are is it's a little silicon um, uh, thing with a really wide opening. Mouth. Mm -hmm. mouth wide mouth. Yep. Which you can, And the great thing about this wide mouth is you can, and, and okay, so it's two great things. I gotta calm down for a second. <laughs> I know, you just. The, first of all, it's a wide mouth. And secondly, the silicone is really squeezy. It's squeezy and it's durable. Yeah. Now what, I, and the reason that it's important that it's really squeezy is you can actually put like toothpaste in here because you can fill up the wide mouth. With it's easy to fill for sure. Easy to fill. And it squeezes so much that it's easy to get the toothpaste out. You okay. know how they say you can't get the toothpaste back in the tube? Well, now you can. Well, who's going to take a portable toothpaste well, when you can buy the travel but size? But you can't get the stuff I like in the travel size. So I like the Aquafresh uh, Extreme. Mm. Have you seen the Extreme Aquafresh? It's not the regular Aquafresh. None of that girly Aquafresh. This no, is this the is... Extreme okay, Aquafresh. Okay, so you can now, you can now take least, this. I go to Walgreens. I go to the little travel section, and they don't have it. They've got the regular Aquafresh, right. which I don't like. I like the Extreme. All right. So I can actually put some Extreme in here and, uh, and use, close wow. it up like this. And then it's got a little... It's got a little um, port. See, I don't know that I would use this for toothpaste. I mean, I would be it would be more of a sunblock or a shampoo Anything. situation. Sunblock, shampoo, and, and again, lotion. You probably can find those in travel sizes, but you know who wants to when you you've can? got a Costco. I've got a Costco sized tub of, exactly. of uh, sunscreen at home. It's okay. really light, easy it comes, to pack. Comes throw, in, gallon. throw in your handbag, throw in your briefcase, yeah. whatever in yeah. your car. Perfect. And they come in different colors. And again, you know, uh, for instance, shampoo. Okay, are you, do you like certain shampoos or when you go to a hotel? I have, I have some certain ones. I pack my small ones. Right, so I you don't say. use the hotel shampoo. You, <laughs> Who does that? Right, exactly. Who does that? So I like, I don't know what you use, but I use the uh, Paul Mitchell tea tree. Have you heard of the stuff? No. Tea tree. It's kind of like a minty, peppermint tea okay. stuff. Okay, do they have it. an extreme? And it No, it <laughs> don't have any extreme. Well, but it tingles. Okay. I really like the tingle. All right. And so I can't, you know, they I can't take that with me, but now I can. Now you can. So here. this has got the little functions too where you can. Yeah, you can turn it and you can read on the side here. Here. You have to unscrew the thing to turn mm -hmm. it, I discovered. Uh, but you can turn it. So here it says soap, the little window. <laughs> and if you turn a little more, it says lotion in the window. That way you don't forget because you're mm -hmm. looking in there and there's just a bunch of white goop. And yeah. now you know you don't want to put your toothpaste in your You hair. know what this would also be great for? And it's a bit of an aside, but I used to uh, uh, water ski. And you used to, uh, to get your foot in the boot, the boots are so tight, you used to use dish soap. You put dish soap... What? I know, what you're not a water this? skier. So no. this is what happens. Any what water skis out there, you'll know this. To get the boot on in a co competition water ski, it's so tight that you actually have to put a dish soap on your foot so that it go bloop and really? slip in. And then the moment you get in the water, the dish soap evaporates right. so you've got a nice I tight see. fit. Okay. In fact, it's usually quite harder to get your foot out of these water skis than it is to get in. Sure. But I this would be that. perfect because you don't want to have a big thing of dish soap with no, you. No, you can just throw that in. Fit a little thing here and go squirt, squirt, little you're done. little palm olive and you're good to go. Exactly. And we use palm olive or dove or any of those. Is it dove? No, dawn. Dawn. Is what I'm thinking of. Very cool. We use dawn. Yeah, I love these. I think I these like are the great smell. for travel. Um, and I've had a few travel cases that I've used um, just for shampoos, lotions, etc. that were really cheap, really plastic. And I think the silicone of this is sturdy. It's not going to break this in your suitcase. This is not going to break. I mean, that is... You won't have an explosion. So I love these. We both did. These are cool. Yes. And finally, another product I know you'll love, again, from uh, Sea to Summit. Okay. This is called, uh, Sea to Summit, this is called Pocket Shampoo. Mm. Now, you remember, uh, I think the first product I ever saw like this was Listerine. Instead of having uh, mouthwash, the they came out with these little papery strips yes. that you stick on your tongue and they dissolve. Yep. And now, uh, my kids do the same thing. My kids now have, uh, Triaminic, I think it is, has okay. cough drop in strips. Stick it on your tongue. Okay. So instead of giving them liquid, you give them the little strip. And it, Well, this is the same way. So this is, I'm going to open this up here. These are little strips. I'm going to pull this out here of shampoo. Look at that. A little strip of shampoo. I've seen it. <laughs> a little strip of shampoo yeah. uh, in a paper format. And there's 50 of them in here. And what you do is you put this in your hand, you put a little water in there, yep. and it turns into shampoo. All right. Plus conditioner. And look how that's 50 of them right there. Mm. And TSA approved, can't leak, mm. can't, um, it's not going to get all over your stuff. Feel how light that pack is for 50 of these. You not bad. You're, you're not looking like you're enjoying the you know, strip. 
You're looking like this is like a, you're holding a rat there or something. Right. Yeah, I'm just not sure about how clean my hair is going to be after this little small sheath of paper. Well, I'm, take it home and try it. I should. Yeah. I should do that. And then uh, see how, how clean my hair is after I this. Think so it's I don't fantastic. know, that would be my worry. I think I would I've rather. I've tried it. I, I, you can use, they say if you if you have a lot of hair, you can use two. You put two in Yeah, I think I would yeah. need at least two just to just to feel clean on there. I'm not quite sure. And and they have pocket soap and pocket uh, lotion and pocket mm -hmm. this and pocket that. Yeah, there. I'm not sure. I'm a little dubious about this product. Yeah, I gotta dubious. say, I'd rather use a dry shampoo. I'm What's sorry. a dry shampoo? It's just one of those powder spray shampoos that kind of soaks up oil. It's like from Mozart times. You know. Okay, you've completely lost me. Mozart had a time for Mozart times. Mozart times. That's Mozart a times. historical reference point. Okay. Sure. So back there in the Renaissance period. Yes. They had sort of the white powder that could soak up oil. And I'm, I think I would this rather use that. the Italians or the, uh, the, the Europeans, the French? Sure. Yes. Okay. And it's a spray. Mm -hmm. They had sprays at the Mozart time? Well, no, it would have just been a powder puff. But okay. anyway, so I'm not sure that I, I would love this. I was I was all in for the spoon and the portable bowl. <laughs> you're in for the spoon but and I, the bowl. <laughs> that's as far and as the, I go. And uh, the go tubes. <laughs> but you're not in it for the uh, I'm not quite shampoo. here yet. I think we found Heather's limit right there. <laughs> well, let us know what you think. Uh, www.neo-fight.tv. Leave us a comment. Mm. Would you use the pocket uh, shampoo? Uh, let us know. Or would, what's your favorite bit of outdoor camping high-tech gear? I would like to know. Hmm. I would like to know too. Or go to our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash neophyte. And that's where you can enter to win some of these fine products that we review. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And if you happen to have an extra 30 seconds, take a look at this. If you need to make recordings of your computer screen, there's no better tool than Camtasia from TechSmith. In fact, you're watching a screen recording of this video right now. Camtasia can record your screen, your webcam, and high quality audio at the same time. It's perfect for training, presentations, podcasts, or any time you need to show what's going on on your computer. Camtasia is easy to use, but it's also extremely powerful. You can turn your screen recordings into high quality polished video in no time and share them with the world. And Camtasia is available for the Mac and PCs. If you need to make screen recordings to educate, train, or sell, there's no better tool than Camtasia from TechSmith.